Hey guys, welcome to bar. We're gonna start sanding. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. Let's do some roll out, shall we? So to begin with, we will not roll all the way out. We're just gonna do some up and down. So take a nice big inhale, hands through your heart, and we'll go all the way full, and then roll all the way up. Inhale, arms reach up. Hands to your heart and roll down. Good. Inhale, roll back up. Just finding some nice spinal waves here. Good. Ah, and taking it down. And back up. Nice. Again, just kind of working through your spine. If you want to go at a different pace than me, that is also fine. Just really get into it if you need to take a little extra stretch somewhere you can. Next time you're standing, go ahead and stay standing. Ah, let those arms go and turn our down just a hair. It's competing with me. All right. We're going to do that same thing, but we're going to walk it out. So inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands out, finding a plank. And then bend your knees, walk it back in, roll it all the way up. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, folding over. Doesn't matter how your arms get there. And then take it back in, bend your knees, roll it up. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Walk it out. You can add in a push up here if you want, or you can just fold your plank. Bend your knees, roll it back. All the way up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Walk it out. Good, and walk it back in. Roll it all the way up. Exhale, fold. Walk it out. Good, walk it back in. Roll it up. Good, stay up. Let those arms go. All right, hopefully that kind of got your heart rate up a little bit. I'm not saying it was enough to take the sweater off, but we're going to pretend. All right, go ahead and find your bar. Actually, you don't need your bar, but depends on you, on your person. Yes, I like to have it at the side. I just don't have a lot of room if I go that way. I'm gonna go off bar here. <laughs> my bearings are here. All right, cold is freezing my brain. So we're gonna step back and lunge. Yes, back and lunge, alternating legs. So it's nice to have a bar, especially as we're getting warmed up, to just kind of steady yourself. Good, and breathe. Good, we're gonna add some nice arms. So arms come in as you stand up, and then you're gonna extend long, and up, back, and in, back, and in, back, and in, back, and in, back, and in back and then one more good this time you're going to step back you're going to hold good and just reach out or if you're on that bar that's fine little pulses Good, all right, hands find the ground, step it back, find a lunge, that leg is still forward, yeah. Good. So the arm that corresponds with your front leg, you're gonna take that up, find a twist. And bring it back down. Good, breathe. Inhale, really pull your chest through. Exhale, straighten your front leg as much as you can. Good, inhale, pull it through. Exhale, take back. Good. inhale, pull it through. Exhale, take it back. One more time, inhale, pull it through. And exhale, take it back. Good, refine that knit, that, 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 that knee bend, breathe. Good. And then just make sure that you have a decent, you can like stand all the way up, finding your nice long lunge here. And open up warrior two, bringing in a little bit of yoga here, just to get us warmed up. Flip the front hand, oh, and take it back in. Good. 
All righty, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees, step on up. Normally we jump, but it's still a little early for me to be jumping. So I'm just gonna walk around to the other side, but basically we're gonna take your other leg back. Yes, good. So nice, more of a shallow lunge here because we still have those pulses. Good, and pulse, here we go. We will do lunges on both sides. Roll the shoulders back, collarbones are lifted. Warming up our legs here. Good. And then bring your hands down. Oh, good. Find your lunge. Step that leg back a little bit. Nice. Plant that front hand down. Back arm lifts. Find a twist. Good. Breathe. Inhale. Really try to pull your chest through. Exhale. Straighten your front leg as much as you can. It doesn't have to straighten all the way. And then inhale. Re-bend. Pull your chest through. Hips sink low. Exhale, take it back. Good, inhale, pull it through. Exhale, sink back. Good, inhale, pull it back through. Nice, exhale, take it back. Good, re-bend, find your balance. Go ahead and bring it up for a long lunge here. Good, open up warrior two, flip your front hand, reverse. Bring it back in, and then again, just kind of put your weight to the front so you can take that back leg up. Nothing special, right? Okay, just don't hurt yourself. All right, let's see if we can't get these feet warmed up. I'm still in socks here. So, heels in, toes out, curl your shoulders back, just releve up and down. Here we go up and down, up and down, up and down. Nice. Good, leave it lifted this time. And then you're just gonna do itty bitty pulses. So keeping those heels off the ground, just top, top half pulses. Good, down and up, and up. Down all the way, and up. Down, and up. Down, and up. Good. Good, leave it up this time, little pulses. Here we go. Ooh. Excellent, let that go. Sweet. All right, we are gonna do like a little bit more back and forth today, just cause there's some, what do you call that, virtue and being able to get on and off the ground a few times, so. Embrace it now that you know my motive here. All right, I sat on my butt, but really you wanna be in plank here. Okay. So we are in plank. So there's a couple options here for what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on our abs first of all. This is really gonna get us fired up. So you're gonna be in your plank. You're gonna use all the same leg to begin with. So your knee comes in and then you're gonna to drop to your elbows. Knee's gonna come in again, coming back up. Knee comes in, coming back down, knee comes in. So option, you can do this from your knees, right? So be on your knees, knee comes in, and then you're gonna drop to your elbows, knee comes in. It's gotta go a little bit to the side if you're on your knees, right? Because you have a little less space to work with, but still a good option. Good, keep going. I'm still going, keep going. Good, next time you're up, ooh, let those knees come down. Go ahead and sit over onto your butt. Good, coming onto the side. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that forearm down. Okay, again, two options here. Doesn't matter, we're gonna end up doing both legs, so. You can just come with me. Now, first option, you're gonna take that knee up and you're gonna take your leg long. Knee up, 
leg long. Okay, second option, you're gonna take those feet off the ground, both knees at the same time. Bring them in, extend long. So go whenever you're ready. You can do both legs or one at this one at the same time, one at a time. So it would just be that top one, right? Good, breathe. Really point your toes. If you're like, I don't, this hurts my hip, double up that mat, sit on that towel or that pillow. It's probably again, cause you're on hardwood. Watch the next house I live in, it's probably gonna be like 100% hardwood and I'll be feeling your pain. Good, one more round. I just don't know why I just did an extra. Lay over onto your back. It's gonna really keep cycling through. All right, here we go. So it's kind of like a standard crunch, but a little bit different because why would we standard crunch if we could make it fun? All right, here we go. You're gonna crunch up and hold, lift a little higher, back down. Up, hold, higher, back down. Up, hold, higher, and down. Up, hold. Higher and up, up, hold, higher and down, up, hold, higher and down. Again, up and hold, higher and down, up and hold, higher and down. Again, up and hold, higher and down, up and hold, higher and down. Again, up and hold, go higher and down, up and hold. Higher and down again, hold. Go higher and down, up and hold. Higher and down, few more, hold. Higher and down, up and hold. Higher and down, good. Let your arms go by your side. Take those legs up. Sorry, put your hands back behind your head. Come into that same crunch position. All right, we're gonna do leg lowers here. So option you can go one at a time and then you'll just we're going to do this whole round again so you can just stick with the same leg or you can do both at the same time all right so here we go and you only lower down as far as you can without your low back being compromised right other option if you need it you can lay your head on the ground you're just going to get more into those abs with your crunch neck here not your crunch neck, crunch position, okay. Good, keep it going. Good, breathe. Sorry, I think my music is kind of a little bit loud for us. There we go. Nice. Good. Trying to stay in control. Make sure you're trying to breathe here. I like to inhale as I go down and exhale as I come up. Find whatever pattern works for you, but that's traditionally the pattern that you do it in. Again, inhale as you extend and exhale as you come up. Take one more and then leave your legs up this time. Actually put your hands down by your side. We have reverse crunches. So point those toes like you're trying to poke a hole in the ceiling. Instead of bringing your thighs to your chest, try to get your toes up. I know it's a little hard, but that's, that's what we're aiming for. All right, here we go, up and down. Hopefully you are creating some heat right about now. Good. 
few more. One more. Nice. Oh, buddy. All right, let it go. Go ahead and come back over into your plank position. That was it. That was our like ab series. We just get to do it twice because we have two legs. You blame God for that one? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, you have two. We have to do the whole thing again. Ooh. All right, here we go. Go ahead again. We're going to come back to that plank. So just a reminder, demo. Is you're going to take your knee up, bring it down, take your knee up, bring it back up. Okay. Option for modification is we want that still that long body. So try not to have your hips up. Try to keep them nice and long. You're going to take that knee in, drop down, take that knee in. So again, if you're on your knees, it's got to come a little bit wide when you're on your elbows. Make sense? You'll just find out because you won't want to hit the floor. All right, here we go. Start moving. You more. <laughs> nice. Let it go. Ah. All right. Walk yourself around. If you're following me, aka if your brain's like, I can't think my left from my right while I'm doing all these crazy things, turn yourself this way. Okay. All righty. So here we have number option. One, you can take that knee up and extend out, touch cheerleader style. Woo! Just kidding. All right. Um, or you're going to pick both those legs up off the ground, crunch it in, extend it long. Yeah, go whenever you're ready. Either option, top leg only or both legs. Really point those toes. I'm breathing too. I'm like really reaching for my foot. The end tapping anywhere along that leg is going to be good. Thanks. I'm shaking, I'm breathing. Life is good. Okay. Two more. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Woo. All right, go ahead and roll over. And on your back. Oh, all right, hands behind your head, feet are on the ground. Remember, we have crunch and hold, lift a little higher, back down, crunch and hold, lift a little higher, back down, start going, crunch, higher and down, crunch up, higher and down, crunch up, higher and down, crunch up, go higher and down, crunch, hold, Higher and down, crunch, hold. Higher and down, keep going. Higher and down, crunch, hold. Higher and down, crunch and hold. Higher and down, crunch and hold. Higher and down, crunch and hold. Higher and down, crunch, hold. Higher and down, crunch, hold. Higher and down, crunch, hold. Higher 
and down four more. Four, higher, down for three, higher, and down for two, higher, and down for one, higher, and down. Good. Alrighty, legs come up into the air. And then come to your chin to your chest. Here we are. Again, option, you can drop just one leg for these, or you can also have your head on the ground. Otherwise, chin to chest, here we go. Inhaling as you go down, exhaling as you come back up. So remember, only go down as far as your low back will let you, aka your abs. Eventually you'll be able to go down lower. You just have to build up those abs first. Good. So just know your body, know what you're capable of. You're definitely pushing your limits here. No need to overextend yourself. Good, again, chin to chest if you can. Try to keep breathing while you're doing this. Don't hold your breath, please. My feet are warming up, guys, <laughs> as well, trust me. I gotta keep going. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure this is the end of our ab section after we finish these exercises. We're gonna move on to those legs and those arms. Good, go one more for me. Good, leave those legs up. Oh my gosh. All right, rest that head on the ground. Woo! Arms by your side. All right, we have reverse crunches. So toes are gonna poke the ceiling. Try, so the easy way out here is that you use your momentum and your feet go like way over your head. So it might look like that when you start doing this, but eventually you wanna try to just lift your hips up without your feet going overhead. Okay, so that's your goal. I have not arrived, which is why we're doing more of these. So. <laughs> That's what you're trying for. Here we go. Good, you got it. Few more, I'm still going, keep going. Remember, we're not doing these again today after this, so you got it. Give it a few more goes. One more. Oh, holy mackerel. All right, roll it over. Then on up. Oh, come into all fours. Let's stretch out our abs, shall we? Amen. Wow, that got really intense there for a moment. All right, let your belly drop as you look up. Just let our abs stretch out. This may feel good or really not good. As in, they're sore. And then press your spine to the sky. And let your belly drop. And spine to the sky. And if you want, find a child's pose momentarily. Good. And then bring it on back up. Holy cow. Way to go, guys. Alrighty. This is does take some abs, but we're mostly focusing on our legs and our shoulders here. So we are gonna have, we're gonna have a kickback series. We haven't done it now, like a full series in a while. So here we are. Okay. Alrighty. Take my socks off, stop for two. Uh, but it's still so cold. It's 
it's fine. I pay the meeting bill. I torture myself. All right, here we go. So whatever you're ready, you're going to use, I'm using the leg that's closest to you. So whatever that is for you, that's the one you should probably use. All right, here we go. So straight back. So what do we have? We have 30 of this. I don't know why I told you that, but let's see. You can, there's a method to my method. Belly button to your spine. Now I'm like actually counting. Good, you get 10 more. Going straight back, meeting at your knee. Good, one more. Going all the way through to your elbow now. Yes, you're back into those abs a little bit. Now, if this is not your forte for multiple reasons, you can always close directly to your knee. You don't have to go all the way through to your tricep, but we're just adding on here. And if it's your hands that are getting you, press into your fingers and maybe rotate it toward your pointer finger is pointing forward. That'll take some of that pressure off your wrist or you can come up to your fist and that'll take a lot of pressure off those wrists. Good, really going straight back. Try not to go like this and like really jab your ribs to the ground. Keep your belly button in. Okay, keep going. Good, nice. All right, same leg. Here's the deal. This is just gonna start burning and it's gonna be fine. Okay, so fire hydrant, here we go, to the side. Good, keep going. Try to press the middle of your back away from the ground so you're not just like, sometimes in these we get these like weird, I don't even know. But we, we drop our chest down, we bend our elbows, try not to do that. Try to keep your back up to the sky. Good, 10 more, you got this. LA button in. Good. Uh -huh. All right. Sorry. I hate to break it to you. We still have that same leg still going. Okay. All right. So you're going to take the leg back, turn your hip open to the side, bring your knee in and bring them together. So back, flip it open, knee in and down. Back, flip it open, knee in and down. Back, take it open, knee in and down. Back, take it open, knee in and down. Keep going. Back, open, knee in, down, back, open, knee in. So there is some merit to really piecing this out. I think especially because you squeeze your butt in order to get your hip open a little bit. So it's kind of nice. And you'll still do that if you smooth it out. But you're more intentional about it when you piece it out. So I'm going to give you the option. You can keep going with this or you can begin to smooth it out a little bit. Up to you. Good, five more. Yeah, it's it's burning. More like my arms are burning. And my and my legs. Woo! Oh man. Okay, you can take a tiny break, but we have to go the other direction. This is the last on this series, okay? So you got this. I like it when the end is in sight. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. You gotta use that same leg. You're gonna take it out to fire hydrant. 
take it back, flip your hip to face the ground, bring that knee in. Same thing, you just reversed it. So knee out, take it back, hip down, knee in. Out, take it back, knee down, knee in. <laughs> out, take it back, hip down, knee in. Again, you can keep smoothing this out or you can keep piecing it out or whenever you're ready, you can smooth it out. Just really think about getting that knee open to the side. That's where we kind of, we get a little lazy on this one. Knee open, straight back, good. Extend fully, knee goes straight open, extend fully. Good, think about all of it, you got this. You're doing great, keep going. Can you give me five more solid ones? Good, Woo! I told you I really wanted to get warm today. Hopefully you're feeling warm. All right, good, all right. I know we just tortured your butt, but sit on it so that your arms can get a break. <laughs> and flex your feet, you can kind of untuck. Good, and take it over, Woo. breathe. Maybe just let your arms be heavy, trying to like stretch out your arms right now. Just let them rest for a moment as you stretch out your legs. And you can round over or you can flat back over. Don't matter to me. Uh, and then come on up. Excellent. Take your soles of your feet together. Sit up nice and tall. One hip should feel way different than the other. Uh, and fold over. And sit back up. All right, I know that wasn't too long of a break, but we'll be nice to your arms after this, okay? All right, go ahead and bring it back. So we're moving on to the other side. So for your convenience and feeling pleasure, I have turned myself around, all right? So if you're facing the same direction as me, it's again that front leg. A new leg, okay, here we go. Or the other one. Straight back and you're meeting at your knee, here we go, out. And in, out, and in, out, and in. Good, you got it. I don't need to talk to you. You can go and beat with your music. You can go in line with me, whatever you want. I'm gonna count so we don't end up doing extra because that's a thing. <laughs> Good form here. Still think about belly button to spine. Good, all the way through to your elbow or you can keep closing in at your knee, up to you. You can get all the way up to your tricep or oh, even better, right? Some days it works for me. Some days I'm like, I don't know how I ever touch my arm with my knee. You guys ever do that? You're like, knee to nose. And sometimes you're like, oh, I could actually lick my knee here. And other times you're like, my knee is like a football field away from my nose. I am counting. 
You have five more. <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, yeah, this one's gonna be a little more tired because it was supporting us on that whole last set. All right. Again, the trick is instead of your index, sort of your middle finger pointing forward, just turn your hand slightly so that your pointer finger is pointing forward. That'll help that wrist situation. All right. Here we go, fire hydrant, side and down. Two, three, you got it. I'm gonna stop counting because otherwise we're gonna really start cussing at each other. We don't wanna do that. <laughs> Good, you're a third of the way there. That wasn't helpful either, no, keep going. Doing great. A little bit higher for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Woo! Whatever you're gonna do, I don't know if it'll actually help you, but we can pretend. Okay, here we go. Ready? We got that series. So, two more things in our series. Take it back, flip your hip open, bring your knee in, and down. Back. Hip open, knee in and down. Back, hip open, knee in and down. Back, hip open, knee in and down. Back, hip open, knee in and down. Do we got it? So I'm gonna stop talking. So again, you can keep piecing it out. I really like piecing out this direction just because I do really feel like I get more out of it sometimes. But there is some, there is some fun to smoothing things out. So Either way, it's up to you. The benefit to you for me smoothing it out is that you're here for a shorter amount of time. Second, we'll work out your wrist, no worries. I like wrist care, so you'll do that. And my hair's getting all funky over here. I'm even tired. Okay, gotta go the other way. This is the last one for this leg series. Yeah, yeah. All right, fire hydrant, take it back, hip drops, bring it in. Fire hydrant, take it back, hip faces the ground, bring it in. Out, back, down, and 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 in. Again, you got it. Nice. Again, you can begin to smooth it out or you can keep articulating it, up to you. So remember, press away from the ground. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, take your knees wide. Find a child's pose, get off those hands, maybe palms up. Ooh. Okay, I know, come on up to all fours. I know you're back on your hands again and I, no, that is not a fun place for some of us, but you're going to take your hips back at an angle, a little bit of a diagonal here. Woo, really stretch out that hip and then bring it back up and take your hips back at the other diagonal. Good. And take it back up. Excellent. Tuck those toes under, sit on your feet. Good. All right. Palms your hand together. Tuck your frame. And then you're opening a book, uh, you're being enlightened. And then 
fingers to your chest where your heart is. Take it out. <laughs> Down to the back of you. All right. I don't know why we need all that imagery, but prayer hands open, fingers. It's a nice rotation here. Okay, be nice to your hands. They just supported you through a lot of loveliness. <laughs> so let's do some little bit of hand care here, shall we? Mm. I don't know your life, but if you do trapeze or aerial or something to that effect, or if you just really wanna maybe do a handstand one day in your yoga practice, this is some good stuff. Yeah, take care of your wrists. Being on your hands just helps really strengthen. Anything strengthening our forearms is gonna be good. Hey, uh, let's get off the ground, shall we? I think we've been down there long enough. All right. Go ahead and come on up. I hope you are all warmed up by now. If you're not, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, here we go. I'm not saying dying hot, but I'm saying warmed up. All right, so feet are nice and wide, heels in, toes out. I know you can't see my toes, here we go. But you're gonna bend into one side. Woo! So your knee is going the same direction as your toes. If your toes are out, your knee's gonna go out a little bit. Yeah, good, stretch. Oh, and come back up, other side. Should feel really good. Nice, come back up and then go again. Bring it back up one more time, dip it down. I don't know why I decided to do this because after all those crunches, for some reason, all those abs, I have to keep. All right, go ahead and bring it back up. You know, be like, yes, like really helping. All right, just use your pelvic floor muscles. All right, roll those shoulders back. And yeah, I just forgot what we we're gonna do. Oh, right, duh, okay. So our foot is gonna come up right here. So it's like a passe, but your knee's facing forward. Sweet. And then you're gonna take it back, straight back. And you're also gonna let your chest go with you. Yes. So you're like, wait, we were just here on the floor. Correct. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt us bad, I promise. Ooh, except unless you pop. Sometimes that feels good though. Good, all right, do me a favor, stay here. Roll your shoulders back. Then you're gonna grab your foot. Thanks, so kind of like a dancer pose is what we're coming into. So kick your foot into your hand and holding onto your chair wherever height you want. Letting that foot go nice and high. So normally this is a balance pose, but whenever we're able to hold on, we're able to get even more of a stretch. Both have their, their strengths, right? Being able to stretch more, being able to balance better, we work on them at different times. Good, bring it back up, thanks. Good, roll your shoulders back and then just bring your other leg up into passe. No need to turn yourself around. Here we go, out and in. Out and in. Good. Just moving some things around here. Helping your body be like, oh, find it's like equilibrium again. It's nice. Should feel super easy after all that stuff we just did. Good. This time, bring it up. Bring your knee down, catch your foot. You can grab the outside or inside up to you. Good, roll open your back shoulder, inhale. And as you exhale, begin to tilt. Kick your foot in your hand, that's what gets you higher. Not in your own like, you know, strength or flexibility, whatever. It's actually the key is really kicking your foot into your hand. Good, and bring it back up. Simply let it go. Sweet. Yeah, we're doing good. Still a little shaky. Okay. We're like, yeah. All right, a little shaky, not too crazy shaky. Okay. So we have really simple. You can do these jumping. Of course, I never do them jumping. So let me demo if you want to jump. So what it's going to look like is you're going to come down and wide, come down and wide, down and wide, down and wide. You're kind of 
coming with me and you're not jumping. You're gonna go down and wide, down and wide. We'll start all the same leg. We'll take a little bit of a break in case you are jumping and then we'll go all the other leg. Capiche? Just get some cardio in there. All right, here we go. Down and wide, down and wide. It's just putting a little bit of a knee bend here. Down and wide, down and wide, down and wide, down and wide. Again, and wide, down and wide, down and wide. Last time and wide, good. You can kind of just stay side to side. I like the side to side motion, it's kind of a reset. Especially if you're jumping or we're here and down, here and down, just our little prance again. It's kind of our reset for bar. While still working, but finding your breath. Good. So if you need to mentally move to the other end of your mat, if you're coming with me. So we're gonna go, just demo, go back. Down, wide, down and wide, yeah. So just a little knee bend. And again, knees are gonna go the same direction of your toes, be slightly turned up here, okay? Here we go, down, wide, down and wide, down and wide, keep going, down and wide, nice. more, two, one, nice, all righty, got some movement in, got some cardio, worked it out, now you can dance, awesome, all righty, find a stretch here, take your feet back, let your chest really fold down in between, good, breathe it out, Good, walk it back in. And then take your foot over like you're sitting in that chair. Ooh, let your knee go wide. Woo! Knees down. Good. Sit back up. Switch out your feet. Ooh, sit it down. And then bring it back up. Excellent. And then take your hand on your chair or your wall and walk around. So if your chair is kind of shorter, you might want to put your hand on your wall and walk away from your arm. Good. And then walk it back. Take it to the other side. Walk it around. Good. Bring it back. Stretch out your feet. So take one leg in front. Top of your toes to the ground, bend in. Got it, stretching out the side of your foot. Remember back at the beginning, we actually like worked our calves. Seems like such a long time ago. All right, other leg, Ooh, bend in. Yikes. Good. All right, if you do have a chair and you're not just on the ledge, go ahead and sit in your chair. If you don't have a chair, it's fine, you can do a standing. All right, but if you do have a chair, hang on to the bottom and then you're gonna lean away. So it's just stretching out the side of your neck. This is such a good neck stretch. I have like a video online of just neck stretches. So if like you get a lot of tension going on in your neck, maybe check that out. All right, and then look towards your, your hip pocket. So stretching that back side of your neck. And if you're standing and you don't have a chair, you can just be here. Just don't pull, just add weight. And then you're going to take your hand to the corner of your skull and same thing. Don't pull, just add weight. But if you're in a chair, you just lean away from it. It's pretty stinking effective. Good. And come back up. All right. Hand on the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, let the head fall away from your hand. 
so good. Game changer. You can do this at your desk. Of course you can, because you're just sitting in a chair. Alrighty, and then let your head look towards your hip pocket. So just, you know, reminding you that you can take care of your body, even if you're in like your work clothes. And you're like, oh, I'm too lazy to change to go do some yoga midday or take a walk midday, which really just requires some shoes, but especially when it's snowing outside. There are some things you can do to take care of your body without leaving your work clothes or even leaving your desk chair. And come back up. Sweet. All right, just come to the edge of your chair. You can sit on the ground if you don't have a chair. And you're going to take a nice gentle twist. Good. And other side. Good. And then bring it on up. I'm going to do one more balance pose. Otherwise, we're all stretched out. Hopefully, you guys feel pretty good. Okay, find a balance. We're just gonna do a simple tree pose, nothing crazy, or a passe if you wanna be more ballet-like. It's probably cooler because then you're not using your leg, but hey, you can always put your foot on your leg. Just don't this hip out. Bring it back up. Cool. Anywhere but on your knee, four for four. Good. All right, shake it out, switch it out. Bring it in. Your hands can be wherever you want. If you need to make this harder, you can like some YMCA action, some hula. If you're like, I'm wobbly right now, maybe you just leave your hands. But, or you take them out to the side. Good, all right, let it go, inhale. And exhale, and if you'd like a grand finale, because you are awesome, inhale. And exhale. Good. It is like just two minutes early, but I think you guys will survive because that was kind of hard. So hope you had fun and feel like you did something today. All right. Take it easy.